Think DTF is just for t-shirts? Today we're going to attempt to decorate six different materials using DTF. Go ahead and grab your lab coats because we're about to get experimental. Roll the intro. Now, if you've seen any of our past episodes, you should know that DTF printing or direct-to-film printing is one of the fastest and most cost-effective printing methods on the market. However, what many decorators don't know is that it's also one of the most versatile. That's why today, we're going to print several different DTF designs on six different materials so you can get a full spectrum of what you can print using DTF. Alright, so I'm going to start off with our software portion. So we're going to go into VividRip. We're going to make sure that we're on the Ricoma Rebel. We're gonna go over to our import image design right here. We have a gang sheet that we did, and here it is right here, Andrew's gang run. So we're gonna double click here. Okay, perfect. Let's change the backgrounds so you can see everything. There we go. And I'm gonna center light it. Now I'm gonna to top align it. That way I make sure that everything is centered and so that it doesn't go off the margins, perfect. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to archives and just gang run test. We're going to hit save. And once this saves onto the USB, we're going to take it to Hazasoft and we're going to print it out. All right, so our gang sheet has finally been ripped into VividRip. So now we're going to go to Hazasoft and we're going to go over to file. So we're at our desktop right here. And here's our gang run test. We're going to double click. And all we're going to do is we're going to hit print. And there we go. We're gonna start printing. All right, our gang sheet is done and printed out. Let's go ahead and cut it. All right, so yesterday we printed out all these designs. Today, we're gonna go ahead and cut them out and let's press them. Here we go. And there we go. All right, so I've got all of my designs cut out. I'm gonna first use my mug designs. But for that, I need my mug press. There we go. Now I need my mugs. There we go. All right guys, so I have a ceramic mug and I have a glass mug. Now these are gonna be pressed at different times and temperatures. Also guys, don't forget, before we start, gotta get my Teflon sheet. All right, so for the ceramic mug, we're gonna do 340 degrees for 20 seconds with medium pressure. All right, so let me just center my design. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and peel. All right, with the ceramic, now let's do the glass. The glass is gonna be a little bit lower. We're gonna do 300 degrees for 20 seconds because glass retains heat a lot quicker. And look at that. We did our pressings on our glass and our ceramic mugs. Now, our next experiment, cardboard. And here, we have our cardboard box. We're gonna be slapping the Garmio logo on it. Our time and temperature is gonna be 320 degrees for 15 seconds. Let's place the Teflon sheet over. I am gonna go ahead and press it and I'm gonna hold it. There you go. All right. All right, our box is done. It's no longer ordinary. Now let's move on to the next item, a notepad. And notepads should always be customized to your liking. So in this case, we're gonna put a cool saying on it. Here we go. All right, so we have our design. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut around it so that we don't leave any marks when we press it on the notepad. All right, we have our design cut out. Now let's go ahead, let's take it to our heat press and let's press it on. All right, so for this application, we're gonna do 300 degrees for 10 seconds. Let's open up our notepad and we'll just press the back portion. All 
Okay. Now what I'm gonna do with a shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and rub out the excess residue. All right, for this next one, we're getting a little artistic. So we're gonna be printing on canvas. This will be 340 degrees for 20 seconds. And for this one, since the canvas is thick, what I have to do here is I have to adjust my platen on the heat press. So it's gonna be almost like we're hovering it. Perfect, okay. All right, before I forget, my heat pressing pillow, I'm gonna place it under my canvas so that when I press, it presses evenly. We're gonna lay our design out. I went ahead and cut the white border on my design so that it fits completely on my canvas. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna press it one more time to seal it. I'm gonna do it for about five seconds. Okay. Now, last but not least, metal. We're gonna do 300 degrees for 10 seconds. We're doing it at a low temperature because metal retains heat. So as soon as you press it, don't grab it because you will burn yourself. All right, and remember, don't touch it because you will burn yourself. I'm gonna let it cool for a bit. All right, so we've done all of our experiments. They were a success. Now, as an added bonus, let's do something that we know always works, and that's on a t-shirt. All right, so for this one, it's gonna be 325 for eight seconds. Here we go. Okay. Now this shirt came out great. And you know what? I'm gonna let the camera guy have this one. All right guys, so you saw all the materials pressed and it came out great. Now, is it durable? Let's get into that. For the canvas, it worked out good. Now the only thing is, for better results, I would remove all of the staples behind the canvas and press it flat. And then you could put it back together where you would have the margins all printed out. Now for the metal, the only thing I would add is like an extra final step is to add like a clear protective coat so that it prevents it from scratching. Now for the notepad, the paper does leave a little bit of a residue. So what you could do is you can get a damp cloth, kind of like what I did. I tried to clean it up on the sides, but with that, just you gotta make sure you don't rub off the design as well. For the box, if the box is for purely gift purposes, then that'll work out great. If you're using it for everyday use, like shipping or moving stuff around, it may scratch off. Now the mugs, the mugs look good, but they're purely decorational. If you try to wash them, that design's gonna come right off. All right, everyone, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our latest content. If you want to check out DTF Printing, then be sure to check out our most recent episode where we customize the pickleball cover. If you need more inspiration for your next printing project or to get some printing advice, then be sure to check us out on Facebook and join our Embroidery and Printing Business Help Group. Lastly, comment down below what you would like to see me DTF next. Best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.